Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Might and Magic 8. Where we left off last time, we went and recruited a dragon to our team. We are now going to go back to the temple and do the temple properly, plus a dragon. You don't really supposed to have a dragon for the temple, in all fairness, but it'll be fine. So, you might be wondering, what's different between a dragon and the knight we brought along with us last time? A lot. In terms of sheer power, the dragon is so far beyond the knight that it's kind of sickening. So we're gonna sit here, and we're just gonna let the dragon basically kill everything. We can do an AoE with the dragon, but we're standing actually too close. We will kill ourselves doing it. Technically the dragon doesn't do any more damage than our death fog, but it's that's his basic attack. Our death fog does the same amount of damage, but we don't have to use mana for the dragon, so that's kind of where the differing of power lies. Oh, I missed it. We're gonna have a fight. Let's just go like this, and up here. I wonder if we can get an AoE off. I don't want my person to fall unconscious at any cost, because we'll miss out on experience that no way. We can this actually no fall back a little and just rest here. And then we'll go back down. Eventually he'll have spells to keep him safe. I should have killed myself. That was the AoE. This is no place to rest. That was silly. I shouldn't have done that. It's called Dragon Breath. Uh, it's technically a dark magic spell too. There's a dark magic variant of it that we'll get later on, but for now, only our dragon has it. Oh, there's a guy down there. I didn't even notice him. The button will not move. That button will. And then that one, and then not that one, but then that one, and then that one. So if you suck at jumping, the game will provide it for you. They'll be like, hey, you could just totally press buttons. If you jump across, you just go across. It doesn't make any real difference. These do have traps in them. This is the old scroll. The scroll you found in the temple seems centuries old. Are you going to read it? I think you have to put it in your inventory first, though. And it does. It is inevitable. The temple is lost to us. Never did we think that our own creations would turn against us, nor did we think they could so handily bring about our annihilation. Only I and my assistant, Pshthik, are all that remain of the Relic Wardens. This note is for any of the keepers of the true vision who come to reclaim the temple. Pshthik. And I have already secured the holy idol. Remember, it is the sixth plate, not the fourteenth. We lost Warden Rushik when that mistake was made last. I only pray that the defenses will hold until you arrive. Faithfully yours, you will work the nest master. I never claim to be great at lizardman pronunciation. Oh, There's the no. prophecies of the snake book. We don't have a disarm trap yet, which is sort of a downfall of our current setup, but we do have a potion, I guess. There's another secret door here, by the way. That you could totally see on your minimap, so not like it was a huge surprise. The only thing the dragons have trouble with are rats, because dragons can't actually hit rats. It's kind of weird. Technically, this is a path you could fall down on. This isn't actually like a area that has anything interesting in it. But if you fall down from up top, this is where you will end up. How would you fall down from up top, you may ask? Well, you may notice that there is a beautiful glowy path up above us. If you don't follow this red path, you will fall and end up down below. So there we go. That's all we needed to do. Now this room, I can't remember how this works. And dog is being annoying. He's scratching the crap out of his cage. I think we just have to hit all these little 
glowy things. You can absolutely halt your death here as well. If you don't hit all those things in time. This place is... I've done this place like a lot. I've played this game so many times. That's why I know where everything is. And this, most of it, I'll know where a good chunk of it is. Including all the dragons. I do know where the next dragon is. It's in the desert. It's a little more annoying to get to than the first dragon. But he will join us right away if we can get there. If we have invisibility, we can go get it. Pretty much right away. Okay, that's most of them. Oh, there's more enemies. At all costs, we just don't want our main character to fall unconscious. And it's strictly for experience purposes. Damn it. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Well, our dragon will just have to get some experience for a bit. Is our dragon in danger? Some? Not huge amounts, though. We must find a better place. Okay, that's the last of our food, though, so we gotta be a little more careful next time. But yeah, no, I've totally played this game. I can't even count how many times I've beaten this game. I'm gonna go with many. Probably at least six or seven times. So I was a little bit hesitant to do this one, because I've got this one pretty much down. Oops. Uh, some of these lead to more enemies, some of them lead to the right way. We're gonna do them all, just for experience. If you are playing solo, by the way, you're still gonna want to do the same thing, because the experience here is actually pretty good. Damn it. You might have noticed we teleported forward, that's because I was holding forward when we ended combat. It just sends us flying forward. You can always tell which one to open by the minimap. But we'll open the other one first. Oh, there's no enemy in that one. That's weird. Clearly I don't know everything. At least the right way. That was stupid. Oh well, more resin back in town. Guess our dragon's getting a bunch of experience. Actually, this is kind of hurting. Uh, we do need to rest, but unfortunately we don't have the ability to right now. We have no food left. What we can easily do though is just jump back to town. We can even resurrect our dead necromancer. A weird sentence actually, now that I think about it. The dead necromancer. And we go all the way back up. Our dragon did level, by the way. It's level 6 now. Dragons don't need learning as much as our necromancer is going to need learning. Our dragon is going to be very powerful throughout the game no matter what level it is, comparatively. Our necromancer is going to need some help. I like how We're no one seems to right care up. that there's a dragon flying around their island. You'd think that they'd be a little bit concerned about this. Ugh. We got one neutral alignment. We'll rest outside the temple and then we'll head back in. Our big problem with our necromancer currently is that he's just hard to keep alive because he's only got 44 hit points. And you might be like, well, 
Your dragon currently only has 46 hit points. I'm like, yeah, that is very true. But when it's fully healed, it's got 150 hit points. I just walked right off the edge. I'm also gonna save in case we crash again. Why am I just... You know what? Featherfall is a pretty good spell as well. Just sort of follow this path right into there, down back here. All right, we're back pretty much to where we were. Oh, this place resealed itself. Interesting. I didn't actually remember doing that before. Wait a minute. Oh, right. I was only doing that other side first. Wasn't I? Yeah. That's right. We didn't quite finish this one. We ended up blowing up our own team by accident. This leads to the right path. Now you might be like, there's a lot of enemies in there. And that is true, there definitely are a few. I was kind of hoping they'd be further away down the hall. They are immune to dragon breath. Good to know. Okay, we're going to be very careful about who's using what, but we are going to use some spells. Not with our dragon. That's bad. There's a lot of dudes here. Okay, we need to rest somewhere. But we won't be able to rest anywhere around here. We must hide in the We must hide in the We must maybe back here. We must hide in the We do have five food, so we should be okay for resting for a little bit. Actually, I'm just gonna click off the game for one sec. Sorry, the time on my uh, video wasn't showing up. There we go. That's a little bit better. All right, back into the fray. So when things are far away, we really have no concerns about killing them. That's really what our group is going to be good at. There are going to be some places in the game where we are going to be close in, and our necromancer does have a high chance of dying readily. He seems to revel in falling unconscious, like right now. We must find a better place. But I am going to grab that gemstone. We do need it. And there is a thing over there. Which has a book. What book is that, you may wonder? That, of course, is the Prophecies of the Sun. Yes. We also have the diamond, which the diamond is nothing special. It's not for a quest or anything, but the Prophecies of the Sun, I think, is the quest item we need. We need to rest again, though, because our necromancer has decided to take a nap. Again. He naps a lot. We must find a Once he gets to his promotion to Lich, though, he's much harder to kill. Kind of. Oh, he's poisoned. That's even worse. Do I even have a cure poison? No, of course not. He'll be fine. We do need to continue through all these little zone things, though. Ooh. We'll go hide in the corner so that maybe he'll live. That 
serpents. Two serpents. Just don't hit my guy. That's all I care about. One dead. There are so many paths in this place. Okay. We've almost finished this place off, I think. Just the other side now. Still conscious. He's still conscious. We're good. Inevitably, he will go unconscious, but not yet. Nice. See, I got a killing blow for once. Uh, okay, I should clarify. Killing blows gives your group experience. So you don't need the killing blow on a specific character to get experience. You will get experience through your group no matter what, but your group needs to get the killing blow on a monster in order to get experience. There we go. That's a better explanation of how it works. Damn it. If you have four players in your group, this actually goes a lot easier. You don't have to rest nearly as much and you're not so concerned about one or two people dying. In your group or falling unconscious, you generally have a cleric with you and the cleric will help you out a great deal. We... Do not have that luxury, and also we didn't do last two slots here. So we go down this path, this path, this path, this path. And then... Did we do this one? No, there's a dude in there. Okay, and did we do... This one? No, there's a guy in there too. I like how the dragon thought it was a match for him. It was not. There's a monster over here somewhere. Oh, it's a Superman Elder. Okay. Got it. It's dead. Okay, we have one more big room to go, it looks like. Quite close enough. And a lot of this is just going to be clearing out this dungeon with the whole 11 hit points on our necromancer. That's good. Oh. Fine, we're just going to go ahead with our dragon. Alright, I think that's all of them. Now we can actually move on. We don't have enough food to rest, so... Not too concerned about it at the moment. I think we only have one more big room to go before we're out of here. Kinda wanted them bunched in that hallway. kind of meant like a little bit at a time. Oh, well, we'll just hold on the button until 
They all die. We can't use our fireball because it'll kill our necromancer. taken care of. I can't remember what happens if you go over the traps. We just won't. Not that hard to get past them. Oh, I think you fall through the floor. Jesus. That actually gave me a jump. And now we've reached the end of the temple the proper way. So, here. That was the temple. We did get some books though. We should probably go turn those in. And also resurrect our person again. He is a little bit unconscious. We'll resurrect him before we turn in the quests, because otherwise that's silly. How may we serve? Walk ahead. Now, where do I turn these quests in even? I think one goes to the leader here. Apparently he doesn't care about anything. Alright. Right, when was the Doomsayer over here? Rotten Axe? No, he was the one that wants to find his brother. Right. You? Do you have the idol? We don't have the idol. I think I missed the idol. We have to go back for the idol. That was silly. All right, we'll go back for the item really quickly. I think I know where it is. It is the one thing that I am not 100% certain on, though. How may we okay. I think it's in a hidden door. Oh, wait, before we go anywhere, we need air magic expert. I just remembered that we can get it here. Not from herbal elixirs. Over one of these buildings. I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's you. You're the idle dude. Your regeneration. It's Telomere. That's the other quest guy. Oh wait. He found the prophecies of the snake. Perhaps the details of our future can be found in its writings. Please take this reward for your trouble. Expert air magic, there we go. Alright, now we're off. Go find us an idol. Where is the idol of the snake? Oh, the admiral's gone. We can kill the admirals now, by the way, with the dragon. You should have to strafe over them and shoot them. Alright, let's do this thing. Feather fall, first of all. Quick jump down. It's gonna be... And it wasn't in either of these treasures? No. Pretty sure it's not here. I think... Take a look at our map quickly. I think I know where it is. No? Oh jeez, okay that just shoots you. Where's my idol of the snake? Also, that was really loud and kind of scared me, actually. Did we miss any of these paths? I'm just gonna look it up really quickly because I can't remember for the life of me.
Right, it's the sixth one. Not the 14th, but how are they numbered? Right, this is that scroll hint. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not that one. Okay, I guess we better be correct. Save it and just try and find. Oh, there we go. That's the right one. Cool. He's unconscious again. But we got the idol of the snake. That's what we were looking for. So it's the one. That's the like the icon is where there that one is, and then it's just the one just south of that, or just towards that from the center. Got it. And we're off. We'll turn this in, and then we'll fly back the boat and we'll head back to the mainland again we have one food left we can rest get him conscious and then we will find the person again is it you nope that's expert leather air magic Do I have the idol? I do! Thank you for returning with the idol. Upon further study, I discovered that the entire spell is useless. Still, this is not your fault and you deserve some reward for returning to me. I'm gonna show you guys how to take down admirals. So you just have to... Yeah, not take shots, by the way, because they hurt. Just don't stop moving while he's attacking you. These guys do vanish. So if you don't kill them now, you never get to see them again. Not that they are really worth all that much anyways. Like, they're not super important or anything. And if you don't kill them, it's not a big deal. Where's the way out of here? Oh, I went too far east. Also, you don't necessarily need to fly. You can actually just take a teleporter. This one right here. It leads back here. And then it also just leads back. I just remember that. As we were flying over here, I was like, wait a minute. Come aboard. Off to Raven Shore again. Anchor now we can actually do Raven Shore in... Oh, in earnest. Because we are... Oh, I can't see my thing again. There we go. Oh, we're at 28 minutes. Oh, I guess we can't really... ...do it too much in earnest. We'll just explore around a little bit, then we'll call it a video. Arius is a Minotaur. He can join us, but we are, don't really need him. The Empire of the Endless Ocean, that is the Regnans. They are a pirate empire, basically. They're not very nice. I'll read it out. The Regnans call themselves the Empire of the Endless Ocean, trying to make more of themselves than there really is. All they are is bullies and bandits. Of course, don't tell them I said that. People are actually scared of them. What kind of challenge is it? Challenge of speed. We need more speed. Challenge the speed speed thing. The Vault of Time. You know, it is said the Vault of Time was here before Ravenshore. The town was built around it. It's supposed to contain the treasure of the old Emperor Thorn who ruled the lands around here hundreds of years ago. Many come here to try to open the vault, but none succeed. All that expert spear and stuff we're never going to learn. And daggers. We don't need to know anything about pirate raids. Come with us! Marylander. No, no, that life is over for me. Besides, if I were to take up the mace again, it would be with other companions. I'm afraid, if I may speak bluntly, I just can't see myself traveling with a group as inexperienced as yours. I think he's a level 50, though he doesn't come with us. It won't open. 
That's locked. Archimage tournament. To be declared Archimage champion, you must win a game of Archimage in every tavern on, in, and under the continent of Jutame. There are 11 such taverns sponsoring Archimage events. When you've accomplished this, return to me to claim the prize. We've gotten two so far. The night the stranger came through was the same night that the crystal erupted in the center of town. I only caught a glimpse of the stranger. He didn't appear the potent mage that he was. I was not in the town square when he summoned that crystal, but I did see the flash of light that traveled across the sky. It was truly a terrible night. Hey, we can sell all that fruit that we took. Borrowed. We borrowed that fruit. Regnants and ore traders. The destroyer. Is that just garbage sitting on the floor? It is. Yeah, I saw the destroyer. And well named he is. I thought he was a rich merchant and he looked like easy prey, so I. Well, I tried to rob him. I ran ahead of him and I lay in ambush in an alley. I waited for him to pass. When he walked by, I grabbed for him. My mistake. I didn't even touch him. As soon as I got near him, I was thrown back by his magic. In fact, I was thrown over a house into the next street. Damn. Cheese! She wants cheese. And we have to go to the temple, the Churches of Eep, to find it. Also, the Churches of Eep are all shaped like cheese. Oh, that was poisoned water. I'll probably have to go get that cured. Expert water magic. I, don't, I can't do that one yet. We should also probably go level up our character. I'll do that between videos, though. And expert light magic. I think we're gonna end here, though. We're a little over half an hour. And we've kind of... run out... Well, not run out. There's lots of stuff to do, but... run out of time. So, in the next video, we'll continue exploring around... Ravenshore, and we will... also level up. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Others, I'll see you next time. Take care.